Okay, so I'm going to do a video on this because G was asking people to do videos on this that talk on colorism who have bigger platforms. And the platform she's asking from has, um, I have more subscribers, so then I figure I'll just do it. Anyway, I talk about colors, so let's go. Okay, so I want more people to react to this because this really needs to be a thing that needs to be addressed. I will also be sending this link to Golden Goddess, even though I really don't mess with her channel that much. I do watch her content sometimes. But I just think that more people, I don't care who it is, if you have a big following, I think more people need to react to this because it just gets very tiring. I love you, YK, man. You know me. Why didn't you give YK Osiris a chance? Girl. <laughs> There's a lot of people that wanted to talk to me that came to me uh -huh. on, the, on the low. Like, I'm really low-key, like, on the low. Uh -huh. I don't like all of that. Okay. Like, I'm very low-key. Like, right. But I like YouTube because it's getting me, like, a little Oh, outfit. so you didn't like that he published Yeah, I didn't like because it's like, are you looking for clout? Okay. You dropping something? Okay. Like, what are you on? Like, I don't like that. Like, so if he hadn't publicized him, is he at the time? Too like scared. Yeah, so. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not a colorist. <laughs> but I You're not a colorist, but you are, though. Like, basically. The way I see it is this. I do not see her as colorist. But I think that... There are ways to say certain things without seeming so insensitive. Okay, so, you know, a major issue I had was similar to this situation, kind of. Because I, at my job, I've talked about this, where there have been dark-skinned girls who were very colorist against um, light-skinned men. Now, some of the things that were said were actually... Um, hateful towards their skin tone like my manager at the time was told that he was acting like he was mistrustful because he was light skin like he was sneaky because he was light skin um, that has very racist undertones um, if you understand why someone would call a light skin black person sneaky because they're light skin um, it has to do with I think the old concept of light skin, um, which is really racist and colorist. Um, so, I mean, that was colorist. Now, another thing that I specifically think is uncomfortable is when people like her do something a little different. It's not like you're saying that someone is um, light, that they're light skin makes them a bad person, but you're saying you're not attracted to them because they're lighter skinned, which by the way, this person isn't really light skinned in my view, but I'll talk about that actually in another video. Um, but I don't really think that this person is colorist for preferring a man that looks like her. It's pretty normal. She's a darker skinned black woman I never considered um, Lil Wayne's daughter to be dark skinned any more than Lil Wayne really but I mean I guess she's a couple shades darker than him so I guess she is dark skinned um, but obviously you know for her to prefer someone her color isn't really colorist. It's actually just preferring her own image, which is normal. You know, that should be expected. The problem is, is that when you turn it around, when you say someone is too dark for your preference, when you're not a dark-skinned black person, you're called a colorist. And that's wrong because, I mean, you should be able to prefer your own complexion you should be able to prefer your own image, right? Um, so that, I think, is more the issue and the way you say it. Like, you shouldn't say someone is too light-skinned because, like, I have had experiences at work, like I said. Um, there was this girl who was saying that someone thought she was, she liked 
one of the other managers. He was a darker skinned. He was a darker skinned, um, like darker than the other guy that was light skinned that I um, explained earlier. He was like more like my color, you know, like just like kind of like caramel. And she basically acted like he was light skinned as if um, in a bad way. Like she said it like, okay, so someone accuses somebody of liking someone, right? And then their response is, he's light skinned like that. Like it's a disease almost. Like, you know, it's disgusting. It's dirty or something. That is colorist because you didn't have to well it's not just colorist it's rude because you didn't have to say it like that you could have said you like dark-skinned men right couldn't this lady have said that she liked dark-skinned men without disparaging lighter skin you know and it's the same thing with someone who is um, of a lighter hue and prefers someone of their own hue can't they say they like their own hue you know what I mean? Without saying that they are disparaging dark-skinned black women. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about the whole situation. Anyway, continue. Basically, in your own definition, you are. And I think you're allowed to have a preference. In my definition, I don't think you're colors. I think you have a preference. But, like, if someone say the same thing in the opposite direction, oh, nah, your skin tone too dark. I can't fuck with you. Like, like you would have a problem with that if a man said that to you. So, like, my thing... My thing with that whole situation is this. When people say someone's too dark... And they are dark-skinned... That's the problem, okay? It's just like that whole situation. I had this whole experience when I was um, younger. I was like a teen. And I wasn't in high school, though. I was like 18, 19. And people around me were like 18, 19. And I would see dark-skinned black people who called other dark-skinned black people black as if it was a bad thing, right? That is the problem, okay? When people start calling people burnt, when people start saying that someone's too dark in their dark skin, that's a problem because they are openly and loudly presenting their self-hate to everybody, you know? And it's uncomfortable to the rest of us because um, you're disparaging your own skin tone. And what bothers me out of this whole situation is the people, the bad actors, aren't put in their place. If you're a self-hater and you hate your skin tone, you should be seen as that, you know. That's just how it should be. Instead, people start blaming the person that was hurled with the insults instead of the person who was actually giving the insults to the person. Especially if the person is dark-skinned themselves and basically explaining to us that they don't like themselves you know so uh, to me that's my thought on this uh, yes. and she have this, this is the same woman who have complained about you know colorism and stuff like that it's so weird if i'm not mistaken i think this is the woman who have you know this is little wayne's daughter and i think um because little wayne have some light-skinned children too but they're a little bitty tiny and she, he, she's dark skin some people i don't know what you guys would consider her skin so i consider it dark um probably in between brown and dark i don't know she's kind of oh i think that she like i said is darker than lil wang so she is considered dark ish skinned i guess you're putting kenya moore up here as uh brown though and kenya moore is darker than lil wang so she could be brown i guess in that case kenya moore is very dark honestly I always considered her just dark skin. Um, I honestly, if you want to get real with me, everyone you have on here is dark skinned except the light bulb. Um, that's just how I see it. Um, now, I mean, how I originally saw it, that's how I saw it. Um, I always considered people who were like the color of caramel to be brown skinned. Um, and... I don't think that that's a good example of caramel that you have on the screen here. A better example to me would be someone like 
like, you know, Beyonce is about a Fenty 400, right? Because she's the same color as the Soft Sable in L'Oreal. Um, you can look this up on foundations.com. You'll see that it's actually the same shade. But this is what the color you're saying is caramel. This is caramel, you're saying. 400 and Fenty. Uh, this is 400 and Fenty. And this is as well. Um, they're having a hard time loading. Yeah, as you can see in the small corner right here, you can see they are not really caramel, in my opinion. This lady is not caramel to me. She's darker than a caramel hue. She would be darker than a caramel hue. You know, um, to me, caramel, like the darkest hue of caramel would be a 390 in Fenty. Um, I personally fall under a 375 in Fenty. Um, and I think I pretty much have was generally thought to be caramel complected skin, especially when I'm not tan. Um, as you can see, see, this would be like the darkest a caramel could be basically is around this hue. She, Brianna, um, I've seen her before. She is a little bit darker here. Um, she's usually a 385, but you get what I'm saying. That's generally what a caramel is like at its darkest. It, this, this is more of a light, it's like a lightened view of dark skin. So I guess people think it's brown because it's lighter than a lot of dark skins. But I don't know, it just seems like it falls in the range of um, dark skin people to me. Now... I think that at the end of the day, though, with this whole situation, that, you know, whether she falls in the brown category or the dark category, she shouldn't be rude to people and saying that they're too light or too dark, but just say what you like, you know? You don't have to say someone's too dark or too light for your preference. That's being negative. Why not talk about the positive? What do you actually like? Let's talk about what you like, you know. Most of the time, people like to talk about what they like if they're in a good mood because it keeps you in a good mood, thinking about the good things instead of thinking of the bad things. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. And I'm going to do another part of this video. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Have a great day. Bye.